beach swim on Easter Sunday morning is done. Uh oh. Why did I look at our Sundays? This little um doggy Easter egg yeah. uh, at the pub. I've got my apple spritz, the sun is shining. Barbecue's back on track. I've got the donut French toast. And welcome back to another weekly vlog. As you may or may not be able to tell, um, we're in we're in a slightly different location to normal for the weekly vlog because I'm in Cornwall this week. It, a little bit, bit. I don't know why I got some of my words in. Um, basically, our house in Cornwall. Yesterday, Mum and I travelled down on Wednesday. Today is now Thursday. I filmed literally a couple of clips yesterday, but all we did was drive down here and then walk the dog along. Dog dogs, plural. Walked Billy and Reggie like around this. Um, don't know why I'm struggling to get my words out. Walked the dogs and went out and did a food job and that was basically yesterday, so it wasn't really worth vlogging. And today is now Thursday. I haven't yet introed the vlog, but I have just got back from going out. It's like midday now. So I'll insert the clips in from yesterday here and then I'll insert today's clips from this morning in a second. But this is gonna be like a bit of a weird weekly vlog because I'm starting it technically on a Thursday, but I'm gonna vlog the rest of this week and then also next week and combine it to like one weekly vlog, even though it's technically gonna be like a week plus two days, I think. But anyway, it's Easter weekend, it's Good Friday tomorrow, so I'm in Cornwall for the week. I thought I would vlog it, do a weekly vlog, but it's gonna be a slightly different weekly vlog than normal because I'm not in my normal place doing my normal things, if that makes sense. And I've not been down to Cornwall for a while. The last time I vlogged in Cornwall was like around my birthday back in January, so I thought it'd be nice to be somewhere different. Anyway, um, I'm hungry, I'm gonna have some lunch, but I just thought I would intro the vlog here anyway. And, and we can just spend the week together, week plus two days or whatever, in Cornwall. Now we're gonna rewind, go to this morning's clips, then we'll come back to now. We just stopped off at a little bakery near Dad's office to see the shop muffin and bar. And oh, mum got an almond crust which looks delicious, but I just don't like almonds, unfortunately. And then we got this cinnamon bun to share, which literally looks delicious. I love those kind of things. And then. I just got a plain one because the um, pan of flowers weren't ready yet, unfortunately, but still... Oh, it's not... I know, they said 11 minutes and they were brown. Like, they were golden brown. I thought, any minute now they're taking them out, and they didn't. So, I got that anyway. And a latte. Now, we shall carry on the journey. It is now 10.40. We're currently just at the petrol station to fill up petrol. Mum's just there. Um, and then we're going to the house. I don't know how I'm editing these clips in because I've not introed this vlog yet. So maybe I've done something saying like, oh, this is a new weekly vlog and I filmed some clips earlier on. So I'm going to edit them in here and maybe that's what it is. And then in a second, we're going to cut back to when I was filming the intro and we're going to do something like that. Maybe. Maybe that's what I'm going to do. But I'm filming this anyway, wherever it's going in the vlog. We're nearly there. Croissants as well. 10 out of 10. If anyone's in bar, this is a bakery and it was delicious. I mean, I've still got a bit of the cinnamon bun left and mum's still got half her croissant, but potentially the best croissant I've ever had. I'm gonna put it out there, make that big bold statement. Good morning, everyone. It is now Thursday and this is how I'm starting my day off. Name me a better way to start the day than a beautiful, sunny beach walk. Because I'm struggling to think of many other things that are better than this and I am literally loving life right now. Mum and I are now in the car. We are going to Morrison's and then we're going to B&M and then we're going to this like Cornwall pudding company shop to get some dessert. Like, there we go, I knew that was going to move. Um, we've been meaning to go here ever since we like moved down here and we just haven't been here and we've already seen what they've got today and we don't know what we're going to get but i'm very excited it's like cake and puddings and desserts i mean the name kind of suggests that and then we might go for coffee somewhere afterwards as well so that is what we're doing i'll take you with us obviously it's the most beautiful day if i quickly turn you around and show you it's literally bright blue skies and sunshine it's 20 to 10 um and i've got my legs out because we all know i don't really like wearing trousers at the best of times so when the sun's shining the legs are always going to be out um so yeah i think that's all i've got to update on so far um yeah i think kevin was was sat there shocked you know. by how the yeah. oh that looks nice we've secured our cake mum got like a bit box which is like a bit of that's caramel or is that no? two lots of that's, that's a brownie kind of some, that's a whisk of gold i think whisk of gold brown rocky road we're trying to work out what everything is because it didn't say but we just got like a selection box thing oh no no we've got the millionaires oh millionaires with white chocolate oh lost off oh yeah lost off I've got two of them, and I got fun, like, like, fun school cake thing. I've never yeah. had, I never had that at school, yeah. but that's like a quite child. a popular. <laughs> and I, you can't really see mine because it's so beautiful and sunny. I'll show you better in the car. Oh yeah, 
So I got, well, we've got them all to share, like a bro-nut, which is like a brownie donut, a cornflake brownie, and this is a caramel scotch egg, like a caramel egg scotch egg, but it's like cookie dough on the outside. So we shall be consuming these over the weekend now. Well, today. We are now at Morrison's and you're resting on some charcoal briquettes, and I hope that um, no one comes to take any. I literally look like I'm in the jungle. I'm literally just doing Morrison's, but mum's decided to buy this plant, and I'm trying to rest you on a can of Pringles so I can vlog, but it's just not working. Morrison's cake section is honestly so impressive. Look at this, if we had this at, like closer to home, well, I mean, we do live here, but you know what I mean? Like a singular slice, that would be my guilty pleasure every time I went food shopping. <laughs> that is potentially the grossest sounding thing I think I've ever had. I'm not surprised it's reduced, that sounds disgusting. Food shop is done. We are trying to get a gas bottle for a barbecue tomorrow, but we're not having much luck. Um, so we're trying to get a gas bottle and then we're going to go um, to get a coffee and some cake somewhere which I'm excited about. Like we don't actually need any more cake seeing as we got all that stuff from the Cornish Pudding Company earlier but I love a little bit of coffee with my cake. No, I love a little bit of cake with my coffee and then I'll eat that other cake later. It's not going to be an issue. So we're stuffed. I've got all this barbecue food. I know. I've got a thing at home. Just gonna she said, all oh, the flow gas and everything are all oh, on. Exchange as exchange well. only. Well, we've got the gas bottle. It's fucking in the wrong fucking place. Hey, yeah. Um, do you have colour gas bottles to buy? Okay. okay, that's all right. Thank you. Bye. So she said if I came up in about an hour, her boss would be able to come and have a look and see if they had any. It is now 11.46, we've come for coffee and we've got a brownie share as well. And look at how pretty this is. This is so my aesthetic. We're in like a little stable. This is actually where they filmed um, Tell It To Me, Linda. Tell It To Me, Tell It To Me, Tell It To Me. Beyond Paradise on BBC, which I did think was quite crap, to be honest. I thought the acting was horrendous. I only watched one episode, but that was um, a lot of it was filmed here. You'd, you'd recognise it more in that bit because that's like the main bit. But we're sat here having a little coffee, a little cake. Here's a little Just vlog clip of what the little cafe looks like about me trying to look like a um, Beyond Paradise fan because I'm absolutely not but I thought I'd film a sneaky little clip to show you. It's not open very often. We went in the little shop opposite the coffee shop and they had these for free because they're out of date. Could kill me if I uh, tried them but I thought I'd try them anyway. They're like little um, like health shot things so I'll give one of them a go. I've got two different flavours. I got I got this matcha moringa and ginseng. We all know I don't like matcha. Have you tried a picture that way? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I did. That's okay. <laughs> just I don't mind. Over you. Um, so I don't. I mean that. Oh, that looks like a horrible colour now in the sunshine as well. But I thought I'd try. It said green coffee, half a lemon, mint, vanilla, and a drop of maple. So I thought it could be quite nice. And then I got two of these lavender spirulina. They're like a really weird blue colour. I don't know if I'm gonna like them, but I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Mum said they sound disgusting, flavor. but um, they looked fun and they were free, and I thought they'd be good for the content to try them. So we have them. Has it got any in there? Uh, that's what they should be. Oh no. Oh, here. That's what we want. <gasps> that's what we want. And they've got this colour as well, but I bet you it's Sold replacement here. only. Yeah, but they put canisters. Yes, I know, but they. This is attempt number five, I think, to try and get a gas bottle for the barbecue because we have all this barbecue food and currently no gas bottle to cook said barbecue food on. So hopefully, they've got them literally in there, but it's a case of whether they'll actually sell them to us or whether you can only replace them and we don't currently have one to exchange. So we'll see. Okay, I found our backup option. If worse comes to worse, that might be what we're gonna have to resort to. We are now back home without a gas bottle. Everywhere, basically, you can't buy them. You have to have an already you have to already have a gas bottle and then get it refilled but we don't have a gas bottle down here and we literally have an empty one back at home but we don't want to travel with a gas bottle for five hours in a drive and car because that feels dangerous so now we don't have a gas bottle to have a barbecue we have the barbecue we have the barbecue food we just don't have a gas bottle so that's something we're dealing with lunch is ready i've got a little ignore this i don't know what's going on with that i've got a cheese salad sandwich with some salt and vinegar pringles and an apple and i'm going to sit outside it in the garden for the first time because we've only obviously just got the house we haven't sat outside yet um oh got a little friend and i'm going to sit and eat my lunch and then after this we'll, oh i'm going to set you up on a plant pot then we'll go from there oh i've also got an apple i don't know if i said i had an apple but i've got an apple Lunch has been had and I thought I should show you these again because I don't know how well I showed them earlier and they deserve they deserve a little bit of screen time. They deserve all the screen time I'm about to give them. Um, so this is the box I got. This wasn't actually called a Scotch egg. It was called like a Cadbury caramel egg 
cookie dough bomb or something but i'm calling it a scotch egg because i've seen other people call them that and i think it's a better name because it's basically rather than like imagine a normal scotch egg okay take away the pork put it as cookie dough and then change the egg for a caramel cadbury egg that is basically what that is i am finally gonna set up oh i don't know if i should carry it like that because i don't know how strong this is gonna be i'm gonna finally set up the coffee machine that josh bought me for christmas but i just haven't been down here that much since christmas i'm gonna get this set up and i literally i'm so excited she's gonna be going in here which is in the laundry room but it's a little bit dark she's basically you know you can see that little setup there but the lighting isn't the best so i apologize in advance for this dingy kind of vibe for the next few clips um, so this has literally just happened. The tripod decided it's gonna break on me. So that's fantastic. Can't even order a new one to arrive tomorrow on Amazon Prime because it's Good Friday tomorrow. So I'm just gonna leave that there for now. I'm not too sure exactly how I'm gonna set you up now. Ta-da! Okay, this is the current coffee machine set up. This is not gonna stay like this. This is literally um, just all my pods. And I wanna get one of those like Nespresso, like glass storage things to put them all in. But for now I don't have it because I haven't ordered it. So I'm just gonna leave that there for now, but ignore that. That's gonna go. We're gonna have a nice pod thing there. We're gonna have some like, the washing machine is singing at me. We're gonna have like vanilla and caramel syrup there, I think. And then, ta-da. Is this really boring talking about setting up my coffee machine? Probably. So I'm going to leave it here. There's nothing else for me to do other than read this. So I'm going to go and sit in the garden, read through this little thingy, just so I make sure that I don't break this. And then we shall go from there. Someone being Reggie has decided to um, rub his face against the fence that mum's currently painting black. Oh my God, stay still. He doesn't want me to show everyone. This is the current situation of what is meant to be a golden retriever, but I don't know if you can see it because I can't actually see. Oh, there you go. I can't see what the viewfinder is showing because it's so bright but this is the current situation of Reggie because he thought it was a good idea to throw his ball against the fence and then rub himself against it. It is currently now three o'clock. I've just been sat in the garden for a little bit sunbathing. Not sunbathing, just sitting in the garden. Um, and now I'm gonna put together the, well, I said put together, I'm gonna blow up the paddle board because I'm hoping it's gonna be calm enough in the sea at some point this weekend. Is that you in the background that I can see? Don't you me attitude, girl. Is that you in the background? So I'm going to put the paddleboard together, like blow it up and hopefully I'll be able to use it at some point this weekend because I just want to make the most of this weather and make the most of being by the sea. So if I blow it up now, then it saves me having to do it another day and then it means I can just take it, like walk it straight down to the beach, is the plan. So... <laughs> Here is a really fun time lapse of me putting up the paddleboard because A, I decided to keep it in because I thought it was kind of satisfying and B, I thought I would show you the reality of living with Reggie in the fact that he literally has to join in with everything. Like, I don't know why he thought he was helping by standing on the paddleboard, but apparently he thought that he was. Sorry, you testing this? Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty solid, Reg. I'm trying to sunbathe and enjoy the bloody hot weather. Ah, what are you doing? It is now 20 past five. I've got a hoodie on because um, I had to put my top in the wash because it got grease on it from the thing of the paddleboard. But it is absolutely boiling outside and I'm going to have some pineapple chunks because I have some pineapple chunks here and I thought, I'm gonna eat them because that's a nice thing to do in the sunshine. Um, and I just thought I'd update you. Do you want a bit? <laughs> good morning, everyone. It is now Friday. It's actually Good Friday, and today is gonna be a very good Friday because the sun is shining, the sky is blue. We're currently having a wander around King Sand and Core Sand, which is like such a cute, quaint little Cornish village near us. So we're just having a walk around here. This is the current view. Look at the sky. Look at how stunning this weather is. It is like the most perfect weather this weekend. I'm super excited. Josh is currently in the car on the way down. He's going to be here in about an hour or so, um, which is exciting. So he's coming down for the weekend. Oh, sun is shining. We're going to have a barbecue. Oh, update on the gas bottle situation because yesterday, um, obviously we couldn't find one. Our next, well not our next one, is he two doors down? Mark? Four. Four, Four doors down. down. Basically, the person who used to own our house, who we bought it off, who now lives four doors down because he basically just moved house to a slightly bigger house down the road he has an old gas bottle that he said we can have which is perfect so we're going to take his gas bottle take it we're going to have
have his go also and get it refilled and then the barbecues can be back on track and go ahead as planned which is perfect so that is the rough plan for today um so yeah we're walking around here this morning and get coffee get some cake because that is my lifestyle is getting coffee and cake oh let me quickly show you the view because no one needs to see my face when this is the view oh you can't really see it because the sun is so bright i don't feel like the camera's doing it justice because of the sun there you go we've just walked along here saw some people going for a swim down here which reminded me of bad sisters are they oh yeah can you see them i can't really see because it's so bright i don't know if you can see on camera if you've watched bad sisters on apple tv you know what i mean they always go for a swim and that like those girls reminded me of that and it's really making me want to go for a swim today because this sea is just so beautiful blue 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 and beautiful bigger <laughs> <laughs> the ring doorbell has just gone off and ben has just gone to drop our um, gas bottle off so that is now sat at the house waiting for us ben is the neighbor who's given us the gas bottle i don't know if i said that um so as i was saying the plan for today is we're gonna have a barbecue this afternoon i think josh is coming down he'll be down when we get back so it's like i think it's like nine o'clock now so about half ten we're gonna be back home with josh and then we'll see where we go with the day but i thought i'd like update you let you know that that is um currently where we're at and yeah we now have a gas bottle so that whole saga is finished complete barbecues back on track oh look at them they're, like, they're desperate to go in there me too boys to be honest i'd love to go swimming in there billy's gonna lie on one of those steps it's a perfect wallowing spot on that bottom step there you go told her <laughs> that bit is so clear oh my god i really want to go swimming everyone is going swimming this morning i can't blame them like look at this why would you not want to go swimming in this but it's really making me want to go swimming now I kind of really want to go swimming and paddleboarding today like this weather makes me want to go in the sea the temptation right now to just go in fully clothed is ridiculous We've, that's where we were a second ago when i filmed the clip but like look at how clear this water is i am like literally itching like i'm so desperate to get in this water I feel like I'm in Greece or somewhere like I love Cornwall so much because it just makes you feel like you're abroad even though you're not and I just want to go in the sea I want to be like those women over there and be swimming in there or like that man there swimming I might have to go swimming today I might have to do it I'm vicariously living through the dogs I just missed Reg he literally went all the way out there swimming but I actually am desperate to get in here like it's so I know I keep banging on about it I literally if I wasn't wearing clothes right now I would go in I don't think you're gonna get him out today <laughs> look at this if the ice cream van was open Look, doggy ice cream, I would definitely, look at this menu. They've got so, I've never seen an ice cream van with so many toppings. No, I think I'd get that. I'm, oh my God, and look at the view. Have you ever seen a nicer view from an ice cream van? Waffle and Hot chocolate yeah. brownie yeah. and luxury scoop. That, I know, oh. If I had to pick an ice cream van to work in, that'd be it. Look at how, like, let me show you the front as well. Look at how cute. I'm literally going swimming in here and getting an ice cream after at some point in my life or many points in my life. This is gonna be a frequent thing I do. I've never seen such a cute ice cream van with such an extensive, amazing, incredible menu. Like this is just, this is just everything. I love my life. Coffee time. Oh, boys. Whoa. Oh, I'm excited. Look at how cute this is. I wanted a coffee, but now I want one of them. We did in fact end up spending £33 in that shop, so I thought I'd give you a little haul of what we got. Got two cappuccinos and a latte, so got some coffees. Got these got these to give to our neighbour as a thank you for the gas bottle. And then in here is our savoury. So we've got this um, chorizo and um, like cheese twist thing. Oh my God. Look at that. Um, and then mum got a Marmite cheese, was it Marmite cheese twist thing? Swirl, like a swirl, swirl. swirl thing and there's a sausage roll, but they're upside down. So they're not looking the best, but Look at how cute the bag is. And then, Mum and I got a cannoli each because we absolutely love them. That's like ricotta and chocolate. We've got... I can't see that. Oh, it's actually there. I got this Biscoff bun. So it's like a cinnamon bun, but Biscoff. And then Mum got... Huh? No, I was just thinking it might be upside oh. down. Yeah, they all are actually. And then Mum got a cinnamon bun. Oh, your icing's sticking a little bit. So we did end up getting quite a lot. Mum and I did get three things, but um, we couldn't really help ourselves. So that is a little haul. We're now going to get back in the car, go home. Josh is arriving, and then we should go from there. And this is the Biscoff bun in all its glory because I felt like you couldn't see it properly earlier. Look at how. Oh, Dad's actually getting his sausage roll now, so I'll show you. There you go. There's Mum's Marmite cheese twist. What is that swell? I can say why I keep calling it twist. Swell. And I'll show you Dad's sausage roll in a second. I don't know why we're having like a little car bonnet picnic, but apparently we are. Yeah, there we go. Good. That's the sausage roll. I love that. 
I'm good. I'm glad you did because we love it as well. But it just. Hello, everyone. It is now half past twelve. Josh is now here. He literally got here when we got back from um, going out, which is basically perfect timing. We have our gas bottle. Dad has gone to get it filled, so that is all perfect. Barbecue's back on track. I'm kind of bending awkwardly because uh, the tripod broke yesterday, so now you're resting on this like plastic compost thing that someone is about to come and collect from Facebook Marketplace um because mum's selling it but it's working for a temporary tripod but Josh and I've just been sat in the garden it is literally boiling like I think I'm gonna be too hot wearing this but like I don't really want to go to the pub in one of my sister and seekers t-shirts because I feel like that's a little bit too short so um, I'm just gonna stick this on but like it's literally boiling outside it feels like summer and I'm so here for it so we're gonna go down to the pub um, and just sit outside and have some drinks because the pub here is literally like on the beach it's the most perfect thing so I'm hoping we'll manage to get a seat outside like right by the beach so fingers crossed but that is what we're going to do now and I'm obviously going to take you with us so let's go we've made it to the pub we've got the table I wanted literally I've never seen the sea this far out though whilst I've been here like it's always like normally here but it's really far out but it's super calm today like it was at the bay this morning so I think I am after me desperate to get in the sea this morning I think I'm gonna go in it either I'm gonna paddleboard or I'm gonna swim or both but it's so weird seeing the beach like this but it's perfect for going for a run because look at how flat that is but I'm not gonna go for a run today because I've got bad blisters but we've made it to uh, the pub I've got my Aperol spritz the sun is shining it's absolutely boiling there's not even a breeze where normally there is at the sea and I'm just loving life <laughs> This is just so expensive. Another day, another cheese salad sandwich. Although today I've gone with um, barbecue Pringles instead of salt and vinegar, and Josh has got a chorizo and cheese and salad. Correct, with salt and vinegar. I don't know why. I feel like it's whenever I don't normally have sandwiches unless I've got tiger bread, and then when tiger bread comes out, I want to eat every single bit of tiger bread. You know what I mean? It is now half past two and the compostable compost bin that I was using you as a tripod earlier has now gone. So you're resting on like a shelf, which is like it's at a bit of an awkward angle. But I'm putting my wetsuit on because I'm finally going to go in the sea after being desperate to go in it all day. It's actually super calm. Like, um, it's kind of as calm as it was at the base. I'm going to try and attempt paddle boarding because last time I tried paddle boarding here, which was the only time I tried it, it was way too choppy. Um, the sea was so like it just didn't work but today it looks quite calm so I'm hoping I'm hoping it's gonna be like calm enough to paddleboard if not um, I'm gonna swim in the sea or I might even do both but I'm not gonna bring my camera just because um, I don't want to have to leave on the beach and I don't think Josh is gonna come with me but like just in case he decides he is gonna come in the sea with me um, I don't want to have to leave my camera like on the side if you know what I mean so I'll try and get some clips um, filmed on my phone for you but I'm gonna go paddleboarding and I'm super excited about it We've made it all the way down to the beach with the paddleboard. However, the wind has picked up now. It was There was literally like no breeze earlier and now it's windy and the waves are a bit more choppy. So I'm not sure if this is gonna work. We need to walk to get to the sea because the tide's out, but this might not go ahead as planned, unfortunately. I've decided I think this is too choppy slash like a bit too shallow and rocky and risky to try and paddleboard there. Like I just don't think it's gonna work. So we found a rock pool instead that I'm just gonna have a dip in, which I'm kind of annoyed about. I was really looking forward to paddleboarding, but at least I can, because I was gonna go and swim in there, but again, it's like awkward levels of like shallow and then deep with the rocks and stuff. I just think this is a little bit safer and easier. So I don't, it doesn't really show up as nice on camera as it is in person, but that is what we're gonna do instead. What I'm gonna do, Josh is just gonna stand on the sidelines and watch. Glad I'm filming that. Huh? Glad I'm filming that. Right, I think that's the end of that. <laughs> Don't zoom in. I'm not. Yes, you definitely are. Like the lens. Good day, you know. Really good day. <laughs> good evening, everyone. It is now quarter to seven and we're going out for dinner because uh, the barbecue saga <laughs> actually does continue because apparently we need like an adapter. Do we have that at home? Were you no. aware? Oh, so it's. No, Kate told me. So we just need to basically get an adapter. For the barbecue so, so the gas, gas bottle. bottle to fit onto the barbecue connector and then we so we can't have on. a barbecue basically as planned so tomorrow. we're tomorrow. gonna have it tomorrow oh, which Hopefully. yeah no we will have it tomorrow um so we're going out for some tapas for time. dinner this is what we're going for this one this one this one this one and this one i'll get into these i just thought i'd show you the menu now so you can read what it is if anybody actually cares because then when it arrives 
these that are just going to want to eat it straight away, so I'm not going to have time to talk through it. So I just thought we'd do, we'd do that now once we've got the menu. Okay, dinner's arrived. We have corn, um, meatballs, tatas bravas, pork fritters, chicken wing, chicken wing, crepes, um, arancini. Oh, it's focusing on my finger. Um, and chips over there. Good morning everyone, it is now Saturday, we've just walked the dogs along the beach and we are now coming to have a little coffee and cake type thing. Breakfast has arrived, I've got, um, with this egg bendit? Yeah. Ace Benedict, um, but rather than bread it's my half brown and then I did have a hot chocolate but I've already half eaten it so I'll insert a clip of that in here so you can see it and then we're just by the sea. I seem to be filming clips for this vlog in the most random of places because my tripod is broken so I'm just having to fit you wherever I can fit you but it's now Saturday we've just got back from the dog walk we walked along the beach and then we went and had some breakfast by the beach I had like an eggs benedict thing and a hot chocolate with cream and marshmallows um, and now we are back it is another blue sky sunny day which I'm super happy about and I'm gonna have my first coffee in the coffee machine which I'm so excited about because I've literally had this machine since Christmas like I said and I just haven't used it yet so that is what I'm gonna do now and then we shall go from there the first coffee has been made i'm just going to use my milk frother to froth some milk but i'm going to do it out here because we need to get another like you know there's like QB things that you can put more than one plug in i need to do that for the milk frother so i can use it next to my coffee machine and now to froth the milk and finish off my coffee i want to um try it with cold frothy milk as well because i've never had that before and i feel like that's really fun like a cold foam cappuccino but i'm going to go hot to start with i feel like i should start with a classic hot coffee and then we can do iced coffees and fancy cold froth and stuff later on it is now 20 to 12 we are in the car because um what are we getting oh the hardware store to get a thing for the gas bottle adapter we're getting a gas bottle adapter thing so that hopefully why BBQ is this time. Looking, oh this is really bright there we go um you can move so we're going to Very much. you just said tell me when List you can off. move the camera might fall off it will um we're going to go and get an adapter for the barbecue so that Third time lucky we can actually have our barbecue today, hopefully. So that is what we're going to do. Um, and maybe we'll maybe we'll have get something fun from Poundland or something like that, because there is a Poundland there. You need to get some <gasps> Lucas Aid. Lucas Aid, yeah. I've never had some other sounds so excited. Easter egg. Oh yeah, and Dad wants to get Mum an Easter egg, because that's last minute. I did have an Easter egg, uh, which I was really looking forward to having. Oh wait, looking forward to having tomorrow morning. Um, I've been looking forward to it for the past few weeks, but somebody, um, forgot to bring it down and it's currently at their uni house so yeah, and i'm gutted because it's like a it's a cut like cadbury chocolate egg but it's got chocolate fingers in the egg well i was just thinking you might have to buy another one George. well i did say that but he's turned up empty handy yesterday so anyway that's what we're off to do so i just thought i'd update you and fingers crossed that we have our barbecue today and maybe in the next 10 minutes of footage you'll be seeing sausages and but no, we don't have any burgers. No chicken wings on the barbecue being barbecued. Cool. We're back at where we came for breakfast. This time though, we're getting ice cream. Look at the little ice cream thing. Oh, I'm excited. This is what we're going for. Getting one of these and one of these. And I am excited. I'm tempted to get one of these for the dogs as well. Like a little vanilla one. Oh, I think we'll get one of them. <laughs> We'll go outside. We ended up getting a dog ice cream. I think this ended up being £4.50. I thought she said £3.50, so I'm sorry, Dad, because I paid with your card. Um, but look at our Sundays. We've got the mermaid one and the crunchy one. We're going to share them with Dad as well. Well, I showed... Are you having any? No. Josh isn't having any, so they're just for Dad and I, but oh well. Um, ice cream trip little run was a success, so we'll give this to the dogs when we get back, and I hope they like it, because this was ridiculously expensive, but oh well, not my money. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Billy and Reggie love you. <laughs> Let's see what Dad... Look at Dad's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she said she had made really? them before, yeah. With, I think we're the first people to have them because they've only started doing them this weekend. It's got the crunchy bits that I have with the frozen nugget at home, Biscoff sauce, and then. Look at that, baby. Look at that perfect. strawberry ice cream. Mmm. I've got this for the dogs as well. Look. Mmm. You can have that. Mm -hmm. So, this is lemon meringue ice cream. This is strawberries and cream ice cream but it's actual proper ice cream that mum would like it's not yep. mr whippy i arguably would like it to be mr whippy to be honest but oh my oh. god mm -mm -mm. look at the color of that i like that i think that was four pound fifty that dog ice cream what i know i thought she said it was three pound fifty but <laughs> this one is for you Thank you. 
we have our gas canister we have our adapter thingy finally it's time for a barbecue here's a little barbecue hall slash barbecue rundown things we're gonna finally have the barbecue that we're finally having because we have having having because we finally have an adapter we have some onions uh, no we don't we have some sausages which have onion in them we've got this which i'm super excited to try some aioli but it's topped with basil pesto which i just think will be so nice also we have some breadsticks whilst the barbecue's cooking it's delightful then we've got some chicken wings some barbecue chicken wings and then we got these from aldi the other day which are like these like spanish tapas type things which looks really nice we've got some trixo uh, i know i don't say that correctly that is just how i say it um three bean and a barico cheese medley and then some baking feta and then this big daddy steak as well i don't actually know if we're having all of these today i don't really know but i thought i'd get them out and then we can pick so we've got those and then i also think i might have some of this with the barbecue i've got this still tropical lemonade which looks delicious so i think i'm gonna have some of that with the barbecue in the sun on easter saturday i'm absolutely here for it okay, okay. Mum and I are having a pina colada. We're using this from Morrison's, which is really nice. We've had it before. And we've got Dad to make them. And you'd think, seeing as it's a pre-made juice, um, he wouldn't struggle with it. But <laughs> I asked for pineapple on the side of the glass. And this is... Um, I don't think he quite got the memo of what I was envisioning. And he got very stressed about it. But this is... Um, what have you called this? Grapefruit? Fresh grapefruit. This yeah, is fresh grapefruit, grapefruit, apparently. Um, I think he's a bit confused. But... Grapefruit? Pina Clouder in the garden with the barbecue time. Why are you the cutest dog I've ever seen in my life? You're a lion with a lion in a crop top. That is so cute. The Pina Clouders have been updated. Billy's got his lion. And um, we've added some crushed ice to them and some vanilla vodka with the... I know they're meant to have rum in, but it just sounded nicer. Did you want to try it? Yeah, on the Oh, good morning, good morning. Good morning, it is Easter Sunday. It's not even 8 o'clock and I'm already doing some question, but that's because we're starting off the day with a sea swim. Woohoo! Why are you putting it so low down? It's like it's quite really nice. Are you zoomed in? <laughs> no. I look like I'm on Love Island with this one, it's like a mic. Let's go! Why do you lay that car? You're so down! Why did, I do it? Why did I say yes? Why? Um, they actually probably swim, we just kind of dipped, but it's the first time. Well, it's the first time this year. Yeah, first. No, I went in in January. Oh. But I didn't swim properly, did oh, I? But still, way. beach swim on Easter Sunday morning is done. I actually feel very refreshed, and now I feel like Hello. I can eat all the Easter eggs and not have to feel bad. We're back at King's Town and Corsair, and we've just gone for a swim, but I didn't um, explain that very well, I don't think, so we're just explaining it now. The sea swim is now done and we are walking through well, King Sand. Was it? Was well, dip. multiple dips are now done. Um, <laughs> good way to start the day off though, I feel is, like. Josh, um, I would be saying, I did say earlier, like, oh, I can't wait to go home and eat loads of Easter eggs now that I've summoned the sea, but I don't think I've got an Easter egg because Josh got me an Easter egg, but he left it at his uni house. So I don't have an Easter egg this Sunday, unfortunately. But we're walking around all the cute little houses and seeing everyone with their like Easter eggs all lined up on the kitchen table ready for people to wake up. Cause it's only like, um, no, this way. It's only about half nine at the moment, so it's still pretty early, like for Easter Sunday. So you can see all everyone's got their Easter like little, um, they're, like got all their like Easter eggs set up. It's so cute. But yeah, we're having another wander around King Sand and Core Sand, and we're gonna go to the stores again where we went the other day and got loads of bakery bits. We're gonna go there, which I'm excited about. Like a nice post sea swim treat, and it's another beautiful day. We've been so lucky with the weather this weekend, which was great. I don't know if I explained very well this morning that we were going for a swim. It's kind of hard to vlog when we're like trying to get out of the house with the dogs and with mum and dad and Josh around like 
whereas normally I weekly vlog when I'm living on my own so it's obviously like a little bit more difficult to vlog with everyone around and hustle and bustle so I apologise if I've not explained some things very well during this vlog but anyway but yeah that, I can't remember what I was saying now but it's anyway it's Easter Sunday we've gone for a swim dip in the sea type thing um, and that's where we're at we are now back at the stores we seem to love this place Look at how cute it is though. I'm gonna get a coffee here and then we're gonna get a hot chocolate on the way home as well because mum, that was mum's idea because we couldn't decide which one to go to. So we're gonna get a coffee here and a hot chocolate um, at another place afterwards, which is literally my ideal start to date. So I'm excited. Coffees have been acquired. Josh has got carrying the food and I've got more cannolis because I literally was so in love with the one I had on Saturday. I like, I've been craving them ever since. So yeah. got them. I also got mum one because I said to her, if she's salmon to see this morning, I treat her to a cannoli, so. Well, no, but you, you went in. So I'm sticking to my word, she's got a little treat in here. And now we're heading back to the car, gonna drink the coffee, eat this, and then next stop is getting hot chocolate because as we can tell, mum and I love a bit of coffee and cake. That's our sort of favorite lifestyle. Half of me. You know, Cornish pasto. Mm. 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 I kind of wish I got that to do me and my pepper one. Next time. Mm. Well, I decided I didn't need to do what I did on Friday and have three things again. Yeah. So I've stuck to a panache or crown of mm. Oh, please come and buy that. <laughs> it was just so delicious. But not the way we normally. Mm. Mm. You finish it. You don't want the rest of it? No. Really? No. Do you have to want some? Seriously. Are you good. sure you don't want this? Because it's nice. Yeah. And shiny again. Stop number two. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get more coffee and cake because that's what we just love to do because we've used lots of exercise haven't we with lots of calories we've used we literally got out of the car mum was like i'm not gonna get anything i'm too full and saw billionaire sticky buns and was like let's oh, get one of them yeah, to share <laughs> look at this a car a dairy milk caramel hot chocolate the most perfect easter sunday drink after a coffee and then mum and i did end up getting um what was it billionaire's yeah. billionaire sticky yeah. bun because I think we deserve to go in the sea for about five minutes. We've ended up with multiple <laughs> treats as a reward afterwards, because that's how it's meant to be. It's even got caramel sauce on. I was hit with a tough decision of trying to choose between a Kinder Bueno hot chocolate or a dairy milk caramel, which I did struggle with, but I ended up going for caramel to, um, caramel in the end, because I feel like it's a bit more Easter-y, you know, like dairy milk, chocolate, Easter vibes. Easter Sunday out of the day. <laughs> Got my like dry robe thing on and I also have like a towel robe on underneath and I'm not going to show you any more underneath that because there's actually nothing underneath that because I took off my swimming costume but anyway we're now back home and we got the dogs this yesterday this little um doggy easter egg so I'm going to give it to them now I was going to hide it so they could do like a little easter egg hunt but I don't think they'd be able to like it's it's not really got a smell to it so I don't think they'd be able to sniff it to be able to hunt it out so I'm just going to give it to them anyway because they've got an easter egg but somebody doesn't have an easter egg because somebody Forgot to bring it down. Ta -da! What is oh, that? Shut the door, right? Oh, good. Oh, you just you just stood on it. <laughs> He's literally just squashed the whole egg. Does it know, does it? Reg, you just stood on your. Oh, oh, oh. Look, here you go. Let's get this. It does look like white chocolate, doesn't it? Very thin. It's Poundland. That's why. Come here then. Is that nicely? Good boy. A bit. He says, Oh, the is eating all that stuff. Wake up, Reg. They've not even had their breakfast yet. That's all you do Easter, though, isn't it? You have a chocolate Easter egg for breakfast. You've had puppuccinos, you've had ice cream, now you've got Easter eggs. What a weekend, girls. That's what the egg looks like. It looks like white chocolate, it's very bizarre, but they're a big fan of it. Look, he wants more, but we're gonna save the rest for them to have later. I have absolutely got my priorities straight and rather than showering and getting ready for the day, Josh and I, before I do that, are gonna have an Easter egg hunt because although Josh got my Easter egg, his mum actually got us both an Easter egg. So this is Josh's one, it's a galaxy one with some chocolate bars in. So I'm gonna hide the egg and then I'm also gonna hide all the chocolate bars and then I've got like a Malteser one my Malteser bunnies which Josh has been hiding a bit so I thought let me show you he's upstairs like in my room kind of hiding at the moment whilst I hide these so I'm not gonna say where I'm hiding them in case he can hear me I've already got my first spot that I'm gonna hide it in this is Reggie's little like cave toy which he has a little caveman and dinosaurs that hide in the cave So 
so number two I'm tempted to hide it in here which is the dog's toy basket so I might just like put it amongst all the dog toys I don't want to do it too difficult oh this is the caveman and the little dinosaurs of Reggie's that go in the little cave so that's number two Finally, the egg. I don't know where to put this. I could put it in here. I could put it somewhere in the fridge. But I think I'm going to put it in the oven. It's not going to fit in the oven. Okay. Go. Oh, I can see the egg already. Really? Yeah, it's just... Fuck. Why would you have come with the towel, you tits? Oh, I don't know. I thought I had. Oh, damn it. I didn't want to do it too difficult because I didn't want to be here for three hours. Like, trying to find... I'm going to go very difficult. Oh, that didn't go very well. To be honest, I kind of wish I bought a whole pack of cream eggs. I could have hidden so many. He's found the one in the dog toy box. We've just got one more left, haven't we? We all know my sheer hatred for non-copyright music, so instead I'm just going to randomly talk about some random things whilst we have this time lapse of Josh looking for the Easter eggs. <laughs> right, your turn. It's now my turn. Oh my god, there's so many coat pockets to go through. There's a lot of shoes and a lot of coat pockets that this could be in. <laughs> no. No. Letterbox. That would have been a really good hiding spot. Just in there, but it's not in there. Let's now try downstairs because I'm struggling. Yeah, Bingo! Pretty. I'm going to go back upstairs. I'm adamant there's one in that bloody laundry room. Not laundry room. Porch that I can't find. I'm going to make sure I've looked through every single shoe in here because I don't see how you can't have hidden one in here I don't understand how you haven't put one in here which is why I'm adamant that there is one here I just cannot find it I've just found the egg it was in here which is a very clever hiding spot actually so now we have one bunny left and I've been told it's upstairs and I can't be asked to look through that porch again so but I can't find it in the bathroom either so I'm a little bit stuck it's not in here either. Where the fuck? It's got to be in the bathroom then. Hmm. It must be in here then. <sighs> Bunny. In the bath, have a look. Nope. No, but it could be in here. Do you want it? Yeah. It's not in the bathroom. Oh, what the? F it's on this floor. It's on this floor. Right, it's on this floor. It's not in the bathroom. That's my bedroom where I was waiting. It's not in there because he's told me it's not in there and it's not in the porch. So someone please tell me where exactly this bunny is when it's on this floor. You cheat. I think, I I think Josh took one of the bunnies out when he was waiting in here earlier, which means one of the bunnies is in here. But I didn't think it could be in here because I was obviously waiting in here when he was supposedly hiding them. But I think he hid one whilst I was hiding his. I think that's what you've done, which I would argue is cheating. How is that cheating? Because you should be hiding them when you're meant to be hiding them. Is it under here? Because I'm actually going to kill you if you put it under here. You're taking the pick. You're such a piss taker. My theory was correct. Look at this, right? This is how he carried it out. Opened it underneath whilst he was hiding in here and hid it when it wasn't actually his turn to hide and it was under the bed. Fuming. Anyway, that's it for the Easter egg. I'm now going to shower. It is now 1.42. They're in the cows. Trying to hide from the dogs so that they don't know that we're going out and mum thinks that they're going to be able to hear me. Um, but we're now going out for a Sunday Easter roast lunch carvery thing, which we've never done before, I don't think. We always have an Easter Sunday lunch at home, so it's quite nice to actually go out. And we don't often go out for carveries either. So that is all. Open the window now because I'm absolutely. I think they're weird. shocked. Um, Shh. They can't hear me. So that's what we're going to do. We've got to see in a bit. No. <laughs> Careful because you're smuggling up the camera. We are now home from going out for a car, but I didn't actually end up filming any clips, but I had beef and Yorkshire puddings and cauliflower cheese and stuff. And now, <laughs> mum has got Josh and I an Easter egg, which is hidden somewhere in the house. So it's Easter egg hunt 2.0, round two, whatever you want to call it. It's now half three, still got my cannoli from this morning tea, which I'm super excited about. And I've got my like scotch egg thing from the Cornish Pudding Company because I've been saving that for today. So I'm basically just going to eat cannolis and chocolate and easter eggs for the rest of the afternoon and chill basically but i will take you on easter egg 
Mm, I can hear Reggie coming. Um, I would take you on Easter egg hunt, part two, round two, 2.0, whatever you want to call it. Bullseye, bingo, get in, that looks delicious. Milk chocolate caramel latte with stuff inside it. She knows me too well. My mother knows me so well knowing that I love um, A, a caramel latte, and B, an egg with stuff in it. This is, I saw this on Instagram. Is it actually mine? Your eggs downstairs. I saw this on Instagram and this looks, oh my God, that looks so good. This is a good egg for me, I'm very happy with that. Because you can't have it as mine. You can have more of your Easter, oi. Oh, you little terror. Josh just found his egg in here. Ta-da. Um, and now I think Reggie thinks that he's got an egg to find as well because he's now gone in there. I don't actually know what he's... I think he's, he thinks he's got another Easter egg. Reg, you've still got some Easter egg left downstairs if you want. Reg. I think he's feeling a bit sad and left out. You will take that for you. Oh, he's actually so... Oh, God. There it goes. I agree, pig. We've also got these to try. These are the Aldi dupes of the Cadbury Egg and Spoons, which for some weird reason they've discontinued. These are like normal chocolate cream ones, and then these are like Oreo fakes, basically. And I don't get why Cadbury discontinued the Egg and Spoons, but apparently they did. But I managed to find these dupes in Aldi, so I'm going to give them a little go, give a little taste test, and see if they're any good. Mm. Mm -mm. And now to try this one, the main event, the big hollow coffee flavoured milk chocolate egg with caramel pieces, which I know you're going to want to try. Oh, it's not even got foil on it. That looks like a baby being born. That's just <laughs> lovely. What? Where did you get that from? I uh, know, I'm sat strategically placed that he can't be seen. How the hell am I meant to smash that? Because it's got no foil on it. It's all knobbly bobbly. Mm. Yum yum yum. Last but not least, my little um, caramel egg. I'm not actually, I knew that was coming from Linda. What did you just say? You said something. I'm still going. I'm not actually going to eat this now, but I worry that if I don't open this now, I'm going to forget to show you. So I'm just going to cut it in half and then I'm going to try it later. But this, I think, is like cookie dough. Oh my god, it's hard. It's like cookie dough with. Oh my god. Oh wow. I'm going to eat this later. I think maybe it's like a dessert for like later. But oh my god, look at that. Okay, I think it's chocolate cookie dough covered in chocolate sprinkles with a chocolate caramel egg which is going to require a lot of water to drink with that anyway i'm going to snack on this for a bit i need to stick this fake nail back on as well because that's fallen off um i'm going to get changed as well into some comfier clothes and i'll see you in a bit good morning everyone it is now easter monday it's actually josh and i's anniversary today uh, we've been together for five years which is always fun and we are spending it currently at a garden center because we didn't really know what to do today so we've just jumped some mum and dad's plans um and i've got this cute little cardigan on with little bees and flowers because i thought that would tie in well with the um the garden centre. I've still got to update one so far, but that is where we're at. Look at this lemon tree. This is so impressive. Josh and I are just planning out what we're going to have in our garden when we're older, and this lemon tree is going to be there because it's really cool. Also, here's another look at my cardigan. Look at how cute she is. Oh, where's the bees? Where's the bee? Look at how cute. We're going to have um, a little kitchen garden, we've decided. So we're going to have loads of herbs, and then we're hoping to find some vegetables. Because it's bingo. That's what we want. This is the section we want. We're not actually buying anything. We don't even have a house yet, but we just want to plan. I want to plan. Josh doesn't really care. We're definitely going to have these because we've decided these are really pretty. So for future me, when we come to buy them, this is what they're called because there's no way I'm going to remember that. There's a bee. See, I'm so... Can you see it? There it is. I'm so well-dressed today for this little um little adventure trip out to a garden centre i'm not gonna lie i feel like an old woman but i actually kind of love it oh my god i'm such an old woman in my cardigan aren't i i do feel like such an old woman coming to a garden centre but i kind of love it i'm kind of enjoying myself a kiwi we could have a kiwi plant you don't like it well no i'm not expecting you to eat it i'm not expecting us to actually be able to grow it the kiwi you know i want to find the vegetable seeds so then we can decide what vegetables we're going to grow in our little kitchen garden this is definitely something we're going to have this white one not the red but the pink huh 86 pound are you joking oh 36 i was going to say that is going to be in our garden look at how pretty that is going to look i don't know why this is why we've chosen to spend our day by coming to a garden center and deciding things we're going to have in our future house but apparently that's what we've decided guess what time it is coffee and cake time 
muffin and a cream. Hi! <laughs> this is the waiter! I'm the waiter! <laughs> Far thing. Flat white for Josh. Flat. No. What have I got? A latte. I'll show you when we sit down. This is getting very. We're on a hill. This is getting very confusing. Yeah, that was this Thank you. There you go. Mum and I got a sausage roll, and then I got a slice of. Carrot cake, which looks delicious. We're in a little shop. Here's my little uh, garden shop outfit, so you can see all the better. How cute! We're currently in this little, um, really cute Scandi vibes little little shop. Look, what a lovely spoon. Do you ever want a nice spoon? Oh, look. We're now back from the garden centre. Josh and I can't do some fish and chips. We haven't timed it particularly well. So we're going to take them and eat them on the beach, but it's literally just started raining. But like, today was supposed to have to literally rain all day, which is why we didn't plan to do anything for our anniversary. And now, it's been really nice and sunshiny today, so I kind of wish we'd gone to New Year's Eve, because what we were going to do was nice weather. But it's just raining now, although I think it's just one big dark cloud that's going to pass and it'll be fine. But we're having some fish and chips, and then we need to go to Morrison. We'll go from there. But I just thought I'd update and let you know that's the plan, this is what we've got coming. More fish and chips have been acquired. The rain has also stopped and the clouds are clearing again, which is lovely. But we've obviously worked out that the beach is going to now be wet from that sudden sharp downpour. Um, I was correct though, it was just one big cloud that was passing over because it's nice and blue over there. So I think we're just going to have a lovely trip. Oh my god. Of eating them in the car, but we have just noticed Josh with a flat tyre. And we need to get that home tomorrow in a long journey. Uh-oh. Chicken nuggets look nice. These are Josh's chicken nuggets, which I will definitely be having some of. Ta-da! Look at that. That looks delicious. Right, I'm going to tuck into this and work out what we're going to do about this flat tyre now. And we should go from there. Sorted. Well, yeah. Temporarily sorted. <laughs> And then once we got home, we decided to go for a drink at the pub. So Josh and I walked along the beach and then we met mum and dad at the pub, had a couple of drinks and that was Monday. Good morning, everyone. It is now Tuesday and Josh and I are heading to a tyre centre to hopefully get the flat tyre sorted um, and then we are heading home. Um, but first off, obviously, priorities is getting this tyre sorted. So I just thought I'd update you. That's where we're at. Fingers crossed we get a tyre sorted so that we can actually get home today. Okay, we've been to the tyre place and they've said there's a half an hour wait, but that is fine. We can absolutely cope with that. It's only 10 to 9 because we thought, let's go early in case we have to sit there for two hours. But when we pulled up, it was literally like, I don't want to spend two hours sat here because it was literally just like tyres and that was it. Like there was no, like there's a tiny waiting room, but like they only had a water machine and the water machine wasn't even working. So like there's no coffee machine or anything. Do you know what I mean? Like when you're at a car place, it can sometimes make it worthwhile. Um, so we're going to pop to home. Oh, I don't know what's happened to this lighting. Uh, we're going to go to Home Bargains, which I'm more than happy about to kill some time. Um, and we're going to get some petrol as well because we need to get some petrol anyway. And then we'll go back, get the tyre sorted and then we can go from there. But that is a positive start to the day. Yesterday evening, um, we walked along the beach and went to the pub and I did try and vlog a clip to like explain what we were doing but um, it was so windy on the beach so I just couldn't so those clips might have been a little bit randomly chucked in but that's a little bit of context to that um, but yeah Josh and I are heading home today um, and then mum and dad are coming home on Saturday but you'll see that throughout the weekly vlog um, that's a little bit of an update I think I've covered everything I needed to cover now we'll go to home bargains and hopefully in the next clip you're gonna see a home bargains haul all the fun things I'm gonna buy at home bargains Woohoo! also I don't know what I've done here but can you see that I don't know if that's like hairspray because I slicked my hair back with um got to be glued and I don't know if it's like gone on my forehead but now I've got like a shiny patch that's also paler than the rest of my face which is not ideal so just ignore that okay just ignore that today it's tuesday which obviously means after the easter bank holiday weekend it's like the first day of not being easter right oh don't want to show you my password bear with and i've just seen this on tiktok which reminded me like i want to go and go to all the supermarkets there and try and get all the reduced easter chocolate because this person's posted half price easter chocolate set at sainsbury's so i'm going to be going on a hunt today around all the supermarkets to get all the reduced easter chocolate like mark my words i'm gonna have a big haul of it i want to get eggs back there but the um m s egg that my mum got me wait let me turn you around <laughs> the m s egg that my mum got me i absolutely love josh is just waiting outside because we've come to another tire place to see if they can do it because there's one by home bargains so we thought we'd try the m s easter egg my mum got me i'm obsessed with it like it was so good and normally when i get easter chocolate 
Christmas chocolate. I'm really weird and I like don't eat it straight away and I really long out my Easter and Christmas chocolate and I don't know why this lighting's doing this. Whereas like my brother will literally eat all his Christmas chocolate on Christmas day. I have eaten all that Easter egg. I've literally got the tiniest bit left, which is so unlike me, but it was so delicious. So I'm hoping that A, I can just get another Easter egg of that because it was so delicious and I just want another one. But B, hoping I can get it reduced because it's not Easter anymore. So fingers crossed first off though we need to get this tire sorted and we've come to a different tire place to see if they can do it any quicker but we just stood here waiting for someone to come and see us so at this rate it's not really any quicker we are back in the car the tire well i was gonna say tire's fixed it's not fixed we've got a whole new tire but that's okay i've also been telling bargain so i thought i'd give you a quick haul i've got this hershey's cookies and cream flat white which looks delicious we'll try that maybe we'll give you guys a little taste test in the car later um kit kat biscoff bites absolutely delightful where have i put my other bits oh i got some makeup remover because i'm going back to Josh's from here um, and basically I don't have any makeup remover with me because I have makeup remover at Cornwall House and I have makeup remover at home and I did have a makeup remover at Josh Josh's but I finished it so I basically needed a new one to keep it here so I just got this one because it's like the only one I had um, and I need some for tonight and then I got some sour apple gum which looks delicious and probably again we'll give you a little taste of later but we have literally just left Cornwall we're just going over the bridge um, and we're now going to go to Plymouth to do a little bit of shopping get some breakfast and stuff so I'll take you along with us and then we've got the journey home but we are breaking up a little bit by going to the tire place that was half an hour into the journey and hour into the journey is Plymouth so we are breaking it up a little bit so it's not going to be a solid five and a half hour stint which is kind of good anyway I'm hungry so I'll see you when we go for breakfast we've now come to the early bird cafe for some breakfast and guys look at this menu how the hell am I meant to pick donut french toast right chicken salt fries I'm gonna get hash browns they also have this like chicken bag in a brioche bun and then on the specials there's also hot cross bun french toast I'm gonna get cinnamon bun latte but like how insane is this menu? I've also seen the cake section downstairs and I'm gonna end up walking out with a lot of stuff, I can just already tell. Hello guys, I don't know if you can hear me. I've got my face really close to the microphone, but it's quite noisy in here. Anyway, I've got a cinnamon bun latte. Josh has got a chocolate milkshake. I'll give it a little taste test and see what it's like. I've got it on my nose. Mm. My mum would like that. Okay, food has arrived. I've got the donut French toast. Are we surprised? Not at all. I also got him hash browns, which I'm gonna share with Josh. It's got like mayo, no, sour cream, sriracha mayo, bacon, and spring onions. And then Josh has got like a breakfast bagel stack thing. This literally looks so good. I'm so excited. <laughs> That this is on a donut thing. This is like an actual. Yeah, this is what they, they, they use their donuts. Like the donuts downstairs that I will be buying. I'm not a big fan of peach, like tin peach, so I might not eat that. But. Mm. That is good. Now a bit probably tastes like donuts. Oh my god, this is so good. I would take it. Oh my god. How the hell am I meant to pick? Oh, I don't know if it's Snickers or not because I love a Snickers. Oh god. This is the moment of truth. We're heading to the MS Food Hall to see if they have any more of my Easter egg, which will hopefully also be reduced. They have this one, which is similar, but it's not quite the same. It's dark chocolate, peanut and pretzel, but they don't have my one. I'm gonna have a quick one around and see if they have it, but this could not be good news, guys. Oh my God, guys, the viral like TikTok sets. Oh, Unitize have come out with another colors and look at this color. It is like the brightest orange. I'm 100% getting that. I love orange for some reason. Okay, I can't get that one. I picked this up in pink the other day, but it was too big, but look at that. They've also got it in grey, and I'm tempted by the black, but oh my god, I'm getting this. The colour is so bright and the camera's not doing it justice, but I am chuffed. They also have um, all the viral sets. This is like, again, like, I'm tempted by that. I don't know why I pink, but they've got loads of new colours. I feel like Primark have just come out with loads of new stuff like today, because I've not seen any of this on TikTok either. Hello everyone, we are now in the car. I didn't film much whilst we were out because it's just horrible weather today, which is quite nice. Like, I always feel like it's nice weather when you're leaving holiday, because well, that's technically not really a holiday, but you know what I mean. Um, but anyway, we are now in the car the way home. Like I said, I didn't vlog much. That looks funky. Okay. 
because it was raining, but M&S did not have the Easter egg I wanted. We also went to Poundland to see if they had any of the dog Easter eggs because the boys absolutely loved that when we gave it to them the other day and they didn't have any, even though like every time I've gone into them, they, like when we went into, um, I'm getting a bit stumbled off my words. When we went into Poundland on Saturday, which is when we got the dog Easter egg, they had loads. So I thought they would have had loads in this one, but they didn't. Maybe the people of Plymouth just love dog Easter eggs and the M&S caramel latte one, which I'm slightly gutted about. But we went to the early bird cafe, which was delicious. I also got, obviously I had to get some bakery bits. So I'll insert a clip of them close up here. But I got a carrot cake donut, which has cream cheese icing on. I got a white chocolate Maltese, no, I can't remember what that was called, like a white chocolate cookie cup or something. I'm not too sure. Um, and then a Snickers brownie. So I'll insert a clip of them in here. And now we have a four and a half hour journey home. It's half past 12 and it's saying we're gonna get, gonna get home at five basically, which is not too fun, but it's like we knew it was gonna be this journey, like we're in Cornwall sort of thing. But anyway, that is where we're at. We're on the way home. Um, so I just sort of date you. Oh, I also got a few things in Primark. It was a pretty successful Primark. They had loads of new in bits that I've not seen, like not even seen on like TikTok or anything or in other people's what's new Primarks or whatever. Um, so I might give you like a little haul later on this week to show you the Primark bits that I got um, or I'll do it as a separate Primark haul, I don't know. Anyway, this lighting's going really bad and I'm rambling. So I'm going to be in the car for about five hours and I will see you when I see you. Update, we're still in the car. <laughs> we've been in the car for two hours now, we've got three hours left. We're stuck in a little bit of traffic at the moment, but it's moving. So it's not too bad but i just thought i'd update you touch wood sorry but we are still here in the car we will be for the next three hours but we're getting there which is good i thought whilst we're stuck in traffic a fun thing that we could do is try my new sour apple gum which i think has got like a filling thing in it which i'm kind of hoping it does so i thought we could do that i'm not going to try anything else on camera because i'm still absolutely stuffed from that breakfast but i do kind of fancy a little bit of chewing gum so Ooh. The sour bit's not. I'll see you in a bit. Josh and I were gonna get sausage rolls from um, the bakery this morning, but the thing is we bought the cakes and stuff after we'd eaten breakfast, so we were like really, really stuffed and didn't think that we would need sausage rolls. And I'm just, I'm not actually quite hungry yet, but I'm starting to get to that point where I'm starting to regret not getting the sausage roll, because I'm thinking like, give it half an hour, I'd want the sausage roll. And it was a, I, you said it was trips and, some, and red onion, but I don't think it was. No, it's halloumi. Was it halloumi? Yeah, it's trips and halloumi. Oh kind of regretting that because like I don't fancy a KFC, I don't fancy a Burger King, I don't fancy a normal Greg sausage roll, I just want that sausage roll. So that's where we're at the moment. But um, we're stuck in more traffic which is always fun but um, yeah I really, I've got like so many, I've got like Easter roll, not much Easter egg left actually. But I've got the Easter egg your mum got me, I've got loads of cake, I just want the sausage roll. And I knew this was going to happen, but I tried to restrict myself to not spend too much money on bakery goods because I always spend too much money on bakery goods. But now look where it's got me. Regrets. So this is a life lesson. I'm always going to buy all the bakery goods next time. This is a sausage roll that we could be tucking into right now. Here she is. Look at that. Like, I can't get that kind of sausage roll from a service station that's proper homemade. And so many regrets. I'm going to get it next time. I think I'll also get this one next time because that sounds really nice. Sophia, this is for you. Um, heartbreaking. I regret my decision so bad. Guys, guess what? We're still in the car. It's 20 to 5. And as you saw at the start, we were meant to be home at 5, but we've still got an hour to go because we've been stuck in loads of traffic, which I mean, kind of probably makes sense. It's probably all the people traveling home from Bank Holiday weekend and stuff. But oh my God, I'm bored. I'm literally so bored. I've eaten my apple. I've had some of these. These are actually quite nice. I'm a big fan of these. They're smaller than I expected, but I quite enjoy that. Um, you can't see, but I've eaten them. The cheesecake. Where am I getting cheesecake from? Where's that come from? The donut I've not actually eaten yet. None of my baked goods I have because I just really fancy something savoury, i.e. that sausage roll. But I'm going to shut up about that now. But I do still regret it. Bye. Half six, an hour and a half later than meant to be. We're finally here. Hello everyone, it is now Thursday. I didn't speak to you at all yesterday because I didn't really do loads. Like in the morning, Josh and I just popped to B&M and, um, and then it was kind of like, that's all we really did. And then in the afternoon, we just played Monopoly Go and you know with his family, which was so fun. I've never played Monopoly Go before and it was really good. But yeah, I just didn't really vlog anything today. I cannot tell what this lighting looks like because I've got my sunglasses on and I'm kind of in a bit, not in a rush, but like I need to get going. I don't have ages to just like sit and sort out my camera. So, um, that's where we're at. <laughs> but yeah, I'm now in the car on the way to pick my brother up because he is coming home today 
from traveling so when we went to vietnam and cambodia if you've seen those vlogs um we left my brother in vietnam well it sounds like lost piece of luggage my brother basically stayed in vietnam um when we left and then he went from there to like malaysia and borneo and has been solo traveling for the past like two months basically and today he is coming home but he was meant to be coming home on saturday we all thought he was coming home on saturday because that is what he'd said so my mum was basically going to pick him up on saturday on her way home from cornwall because he's flying into heathrow and um like heathrow is on our way home from cornwall so mum was just going to pick him up on her way back and then yesterday he was like oh um i'll be at the airport at this time tomorrow my mum was like you said it was you were coming home on saturday not thursday long story short um he's basically just ended up getting a train from heathrow um to like our local train station so i can just pick him up from there so i'm on my way home from josh's i'm gonna pick my brother up which would be really nice to see him because obviously i've not seen him since like february the 20th i want to say i think it was and it's now april the 13th so it's been quite a while so it'll be nice to see him so i'm gonna pick him up and then i'm going home um, i've not been home i popped home yesterday just to pick up my car so i could pick my brother up today but i've not really like been home obviously for a while because i've been in cornwall and then i've been at josh's so it'd be nice to go home it is such a beautiful day today like it's bright blue skies and sunshine it's my favorite kind of weather so i might go for a run this afternoon because i just want to go out and do something to make the most of the weather and a run is a good way to do that and also this is like the perfect weather to go for a run um, and it makes me want to if that makes sense and i want to try and get on with running like you know i've said many times before a weekly vlog so that is what i'm going to do i'm going to also start editing this weekly vlog this afternoon so i'm basically just going to do some editing this afternoon maybe go for a run the lighting's shocking in this clip the lighting is literally shocking in this clip because of the sun so i'm going to cut this off here i might even put my roof down in a minute because i kind of just want to like i just love this weather and it makes me have my roof down um so i shall do that and i shall see you in a bit hello darling hello solid sleep on each flight are we jet so... lagging or are we no jet lagging oh that's interesting yeah <laughs> it's really bad isn't it basically i didn't shave it whilst i was in the jungle and then i thought well no one can see me so i'm gonna no, see if everyone... i can grow a beard and now everyone can see me and oh, i can't basically well you made it back alive about cholera which is amazing <laughs> might have malaria though you oh, know, really yeah. oh We've come out for some breakfast because Samuel is desperate for it. I don't, he's English breakfast, so I want an English like, breakfast. <laughs> he's be, how long have we been away? Like two and a half months? Yeah, this, is, this has been here for maybe two weeks. No, not your feet. How long have we actually been away though? Oh, two months. Two months, and in a bit like Vietnam, there's not many like breakfasty stereotypical things. So, of course, he's come straight off the plane and he wants a full English. So, that's what we've come for in the sunshine. I, had time. I only had enough time to get a um, Starbucks. Oh, like a coffee. coffee yeah food has arrived Samuel's got his full English he's absolutely <laughs> looking <laughs> um, and I've got like a chorizo potato wrap type thing treat so I can't say it properly but this looks absolutely delicious I think this is like the chorizo hash that I have from here but in a wrap which is Mm. Good, because their trips of hash is so nice. Okie dokie, I am now finally home. I ended up picking my brother up from the station, obviously, as you saw, and then he really just wanted a full English. So we went into town to get some breakfast, which was really, really lovely. It was nice to actually, like, get to spend some time together because we don't often go out, just the two of us, because we're both, like... Our schedules never align really so that was really lovely especially after not seeing him for a few months um then we popped to waitrose to get some food because the fridge is literally empty because obviously no one's been here but we are now home and i've had a few parcels delivered whilst i've been away a few of them aren't here because they've been delivered to my neighbor but i've had a few delivered to the house this one literally got delivered today so i thought we could do like a little unboxing of some parcels that i've had delivered whilst i've been away and we're gonna start with this one because i can obviously tell what it is it's a protein world parcel which they very kindly sent me and i'm very 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 excited to see what's in here i have actually also been given a discount code from protein world fuel which is i think it's let me just double check i'm gonna pop it on screen as well it's basically pw georgie and it will get you 40 percent off which is such a good discount <gasps> oh there's pasta in here i knew i was getting a couple of bits but they've sent me some extra bits that i was not expecting including some pasta which is super exciting me and samuel are literally gonna have pasta for dinner that's what we popped away for to get the ingredients so maybe we can have this. This is some Italian penne protein pasta. That is so cool. I've never seen that before. I also love that packaging. I don't know why. I just feel so Italian. We've got a slender pizza mix. Low sugar, high protein. We've got the summer sessions pre-workout summer berries. This looks really good. This is one of the things I knew that I was getting and I'm really excited to try this. I might even, like, because it's such blue sky sunny weather today, I might even go for a run and I could try that out. Oh my God, this looks bougie. We've got a protein shake type thing, which is actually ideal because this is the other 
another thing I knew that I was getting, which is the Slender Blend. Again, I don't know why, I just love the packaging. This is vanilla ice cream flavour, which is going to be delicious. I also feel like this would work really well with like a shot of espresso in to make like a kind of espresso-y type thing. Um, I didn't actually have a protein shaker. I was going to have to steal one of my brothers to be able to um, use this. But now I've got this. This is so cool. It's like a gold metal. It says, look, feel, oh, feel good, look great. Little like protein shaker type thing with, with this like thingy in it, like in the lid. And then I've got a little scoop to use it with and then two bars so we have a slender plant-based protein with peanut butter and a slender plant-based protein with chocolate chips so i've got like two little protein bars as well and with me getting into running and stuff i feel like this is perfect because i don't have anything like this i've never really tried stuff like this but i've been wanting to like get into it especially this i feel like this is gonna be perfect this pre-workout so i'm very excited to try it along with me updating you as to how i'm getting on with my running progress and stuff i'm gonna also like try all this out throughout the weekly vlogs and give you like little updates as to how i'm getting on so that is a lovely parcel from breaking well thank you very much then i have a parcel from tiktok shop so this is something i've been gifted which i need to film a tiktok on and i'm super excited about this because it is basically these illuminating bronzing drops for your face and i think these could be a really good dupe for the drunk elephant bronzing drops and i am a sucker for anything bronzing i hate having a pale face so like today for example i couldn't be bothered to put full face makeup on but i just had to put some bronzer on because i cannot cope with a pale face so these if i can get into them are literally that's literally just broken my nail off in half that's fantastic these are literally going to be perfect because if i can get them open it's like this tube um, of like liquid bronzing drops and i'm thinking this could just look so nice in the summer just wearing like a little bit of this over your skin just to give you that like sun-kissed glow so i'm going to try these out in a tiktok and i'll let you know what they're like but i'm very excited about that and then lastly um, i have this parcel which i think might be a vintage parcel i know i've definitely got at least one parcel at my neighbors which i think is another vintage parcel oh yeah this is a blazer i got um from sisters and seekers because i absolutely love sisters and seekers blazers um i've got a gray one and a black one no i don't i have a gray one and a brown one and now i have a black one because i don't actually have a black blazer and i feel like i need one and this was literally brand new with tags and i think it was like 20 pound and it's meant to be like 65 so that is what she looks like i'll show you that a little bit better in a vintage haul that i'm gonna film next week i think so that is my little um parcel unboxing it is now 135 so i'm gonna do some editing for a bit i think i might go for a run i'm not too sure and we shall go from there I'm now changed and I'm gonna have my um, like pre-workout thing now because you have to take it 30 minutes before you work out. Um, I kinda just wanna get on this run, get it done and then I can spend the rest of the afternoon at home just concentrating on getting this weekly vlog edited. So I'm gonna have this now, my Apple Watch is charging up. So by the time I've had this and the 30 minutes have passed, my Apple Watch should be charged up. So I thought we could make this together and give it a little like first impressions taste test thing. I feel like a proper gym person with this. Like I've never really had protein shakes or pre-workout or anything like that before. Like I've not really ever got into it. So I'm quite excited to try this, but I do feel like a proper gym person with the little scoop and the little shaker. Like I feel like I look the part. It's kind of like all the gear, but absolutely no idea. That is actually delicious. I'm gonna drink this now, give it half an hour, and then I shall go on my run. I don't think I'm gonna like go too far today. I kind of can't really be bothered, but then saying that, this pre-workout might really give me the energy and everything to run the furthest I've ever run. We don't really know. But I'm going to drink this, go for a run. We shall go from there. I'm on the run. My calves have been super tight from the get-go today, which is not ideal. I don't really know why. So I think I'm just going to do a short run today, just like better than nothing. But we're out on the run. Woohoo! That was potentially the world's worst run I think I have ever done. I don't know why, but like I said, from the get-go, my calves have literally been aching so much today and there's no reason for it. Like, I don't get why they're so achy. Like, even now, walking, I've been walking for a few minutes and they're absolutely killing me and I really don't know why. So I decided to just cut the run short because last time I did a run, my, like, trainers were rubbing and I just decided to carry on and ignore it. And then I ended up with the biggest, bubbliest blister which meant that all of last week I had massive issues with wearing shoes because my feet were literally torn apart and I don't want to make my calves like super sore or like cause them any issues so I'm just going to listen to my body and just like just write that run off leave it there and I'm just going to walk back home which is a bit of a fail but oh well keeping it real I said I'd take you along on my running journey and today is just a fail so I'm now going to head back home shower get changed and then like I said I've got oh, it's a bit windy I've got some editing of this weekly vlog that I want to get on with 
I will also give the pre-workout another go like I'm gonna basically take it every time I go for a run so I will keep you updated and sort of like documented through the weekly vlogs how I find the pre-workout stuff because obviously I did not put it to the proper test today it is so windy I literally don't think you're gonna be able to hear me but basically we will try the pre-workout again next week and I'll give you more like testings and tryings of the protein world stuff throughout the weekly vlogs Good afternoon everyone, it is now actually Saturday, we have fast forwarded slightly, I forgot on my car tripod so we're just trying to make do with the rest of your dashboard and hoping that you don't go flying like that. This morning I didn't vlog because we went to go and look at cars with Josh's parents and it's just not really that entertaining really. Um, and then we've just come to Mersey to drop Josh's parents off like after going to look at cars and we actually managed to find, we were like let's just have a quick walk along, like a little walk around. We had a walk along the beach before we get back in the car and go home and we found this really cute bakery like obviously knowing me I'm very good at finding bakeries and I just happened to stumble upon this one and it had like brownies and like all those kind of like things I like you know like Kit Kat brownies which I did actually get and stuff so I'll show you that in a minute um, and then I also saw a place that did a sausage roll and it is lunchtime and I'm kind of hungry um, and I think we're going to stop up at KFC on the way home but I thought for the time being I am a little bit peckish I thought I'd get a sausage roll as a snack seeing as um, obviously on what day is it? Tuesday. Tuesday we had the whole regretting not getting a sausage roll debacle debacle. Is that is that even a word? Debacle. I don't I don't know. Um, so I got a chorizo and chilli one, which I'm very excited about. So a little update on the sausage roll situation. We are now going to go home. I just thought I'd update you though, because I haven't vlogged anything yet today. Um, let's have a look at this. This was the world's most expensive sausage roll at a whopping £5.95. I almost had a heart attack when he told me how much it was, but it does look quite good. And then I'll show you the cakes in a little bit. Here she is. There's even a lump of chorizo in it. I say that word wrong every time I know, but look how good that looks. Also, I did also get like a Kinder Bueno milkshake from the place we got the cakes from, um, which I filmed a clip of on my phone because I'd left my camera in the car, which is why I didn't take you to the bakery with me because my camera is in the car. So I'll insert that clip in here. Hi, can I take your order? Hi, can I have a six chicken nugget meal, please? With what drink? A smoothie, please. Uh, I don't think we have that, sorry. Uh, can I have an Oasis instead then, please? Thank you. <laughs> got a cheeky little six chicken nugget chips um, McDonald's for lunch and I got an Oasis. I really wanted a smoothie, but she told me she didn't have any and I hate when they do that, so I got an Oasis instead. Um, and we are now nearly home, so I'm gonna eat this. It's 20 past two. And then I don't really know what we're doing the rest of the day, but we shall see. We're now back home, so I quickly thought I'd show you the bakery bits I got. So first off, I got this, which is a bit like the bit box that I got um, in Cornwall like last weekend, but it's basically like a cup with just like cutoffs of various different things. So there's like a cornflake blondie type thing. I know that because I recognize it from the counter. And then there's like a mini egg. There was some mini egg somewhere. Oh, there you go. There's a little mini egg, like, cookie dough blondie layered things it's basically like a variety of a few different things in a cup which i love because then i can try a bit of everything and then we also got let me just open it bear with we got two like full size proper things so josh got this like brookie like cookie brownie thing which i think we're gonna share it looks like that and then i got this kit kat brownie which is very thin actually it's a very weird shape but it's like a kit kat um brownie thing and then obviously i also got um the kinder bueno milkshake and josh got a flat white and now it's half past three we've just got home and i think we're probably going to spend the afternoon playing this because i got this for josh's mum for christmas and we started playing it this week and we're literally obsessed with it and we basically spent yesterday evening um and wednesday morning playing this so i think we're going to play a bit of this this afternoon and basically chill for the rest of the day so i will see you when i next see you